Hello, how you doing? I'm going to talk about Juanita Bynum's rant. Now, that's that to me is what it is, is a rant. Uh, now, I'm going to admit, I agree with uh, most of what she's saying. I agree with it. Now, look, when I was 16, uh, my body was in a different place. You know, I was not top heavy like I am now. Uh, I was a lot slimmer. And I, I, I wore the halter. I wore my share of halter tops. I wore what you call revealing clothing. But then after 16 and 17, I understood my body's changing. So maybe I shouldn't wear clothing like that. And I stopped wearing clothing like that. And, and you definitely cannot, you know, after, in, my, in my opinion, after you're pregnant, you definitely cannot wear clothes like that. You don't want nobody to see those parts except your husband. Okay. So, so what she, uh, one is buying is asking why do women do that? Now, see, I do see some hypocrisy in what Juanita Bynum is saying because it's greed. These women are greedy for attention. They want attention. They're greedy for attention from men. See, greed, you can be greedy for money. You can be greedy for sex, which makes you an addict. Or you can be greedy for alcohol, which makes you a uh, alcoholic. So you can be greedy for attention. These women want attention. They want attention from the audience. They want attention for the men, from the men. And if these women get on the pulpit, call themselves preaching, they got on this revealing clothing, you know what? They're not getting any prayers to God. God's not listening to them. God's not even in the church. It's a waste of time for you to even go. But of course, the men want to go because they want to see. They know those women are going to wear some provocative clothing. They know that. But the, see, the men want to go see, okay? But uh, God is not in that church. I don't care if they get up there and sing beautifully and they have this revealing clothes on. God care less about it. You know what? Those angels ain't going to come down there and minister to anybody because of the clothing that that woman's wearing. She can have the most beautiful voice. Uh, the angel's not going to come down there and minister to anybody. Okay? And God's not going to minister to anybody. Um, see, like I said, I stopped wearing those clothing because I understood my body's changing. And nobody needs to see anything. Uh, the truth is, see, black people are tend they we tend to imitate. If somebody wears B is ABC wears bees in their house in their hair, we, we we wear bees in our hair. If Cardi B uh wears a string, we wear a string. You know, black women will wear a string. Now, for the sake of video, I'm gonna call Beyonce a she. If Beyonce wears a wears a string, uh, okay, well, Beyonce wears a string of black, another black woman will wear a string. And they don't understand that uh, the truth is Beyonce don't have the shape to do it. <laughs> Cardi B does. Now, Cardi B is not the best looking woman out there, is she? But look, she wore all this ridiculous clothing for the world to see. And the black women emulate her. They do the same thing. See, the black women don't have a shape. See, what black women, excuse me, don't realize is that they don't have the shape to wear this type of clothing. I see... I can go to Kroger. I can go to Walmart. I see women, black women in the and white women in the most terrible of clothing. And they do not, they do not understand they don't have the shape to, to wear clothing like that. Now, look, like I said, uh, when I was 16, 17, I stopped wearing that clothes because I understood my body was changing. And so people don't need to, men don't need to see everything. Um, and black women don't understand they don't have the shape for that type of clothing. They don't understand. I noticed there are a lot of pictures of what Tamala, is her name Tamala Man? Now, look, I'm going to admit, she has a most spectacular voice. But that clothing she wears, uh, no, she shouldn't wear that. Okay? I give her a break because she said, what, five children or something? I give her a break. Um, and no, she shouldn't wear clothes like that. I mean, that's something only her husband needs to see. The audience doesn't need to see it. But I know there are a lot of pictures of Tamla Man in that, in that crappy clothing. And I don't know why, because all of us... Even the poorest of the poorest black woman, we have a, a full length mirror. She, we can see what we look like and see if we should should or should not wear that anywhere. Okay, and even on YouTube, you see black women in the most awful clothing, tight, skin tight, and they simply don't have the shape for it. And we need to we need to just make use of that full length mirror and ask ourselves, do we have the shape for that? The answer is no. And see, a lot of these clothing are designed by Asians. We are not built like Asians. They're very small people. Okay, so they, they look very tight on us. Asians don't know how to sew clothes American style. They don't because they're very small people. They, those clothes are not made for us anyway. Uh, now, why, well, I need to buy them saying, why 
do we do that? Because we're greedy. We're greedy for attention. Black women are greedy for attention. That's why they wear the provocative clothing. They wear the provocative clothing in church. They wear the provocative clothing everywhere because they're greedy for attention. They're greedy for attention from men. Now, if all those women gave three, uh, Juanita Bynum three thousand dollars, she's not going to. She's going to take the money. Believe me, she's not going to say. Uh, I'm not going to take this money because you're dressed provocatively. Therefore, I don't want it. She's going to take that money. So Juanita Bynum is greedy for money. That's okay, right? Because she's greedy for money in church. Uh, but it's not okay for women to be greedy for attention. But it's the same spirit of greed. You want attention? Excuse me. Itching. Okay. You want attention from men? You're greedy for attention from men? And you're greedy for money. It's the same spirit of greed. Okay, greed for attention from men. That's, I don't know why y'all listen to women uh, in the pulpit with this trashy clothing on. 